<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan Long here. And today, or actually tonight, I'm going to talk about McDonald's getting your order wrong. Now, a lot of people who work at McDonald's are usually making minimum wage. Either that would be the people who handle the cat fetish during the people who cook the food or whatever the case might be. Now, for some reason, they always seem to goof up. McDonald's sometimes, Jordan said, doesn't understand the definition of plain. Plain would mean meat and a bun. Perfectly a top bun and a bottom bun. Okay? No pickles. No condiments whatsoever. But sometimes they don't understand that, Jordan says. I mean, Burger King's good at it. Wendy's is good at it. All American food is good at it. I mean, hell, even Sonic would probably be good at it, too. Now, Arby's is good at it as well, but for some re and Dairy Cream is good at it as well, too. For some reason, Jordan said, McDonald's doesn't seem to be good at, uh, you know, making the orders. So, you want a two plain hamburgers, right? That's right, Jordan said, two plain hamburgers. Just the meat and the buns, no ketchup. No mustard, no relish, no condiments whatsoever, no pickles, just two hamburgers with nothing on them. All right, we'll see what we can do. Next thing you know, he goes and rings up the order to the cook area. And while he's handling the calf register and you're paying for the food, the person who's in charge of cooking the food somehow is sloppy, lazy. And they think that if they got paid just a little bit more at McDonald's, then they would be doing a better job. But whatever the case might be, a lot of people at McDonald's, especially the ones who make the, the prepare the food, somehow something goes wrong and they completely screw it up. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, that's all. Jordan said, oh, God, no, no. Okay, if I was just making a little bit more money and I didn't have a lot of deductions taken out and stuff, then, then maybe I'd be doing a better order. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're putting cheese on it. That's what I like. I don't care. If I'm getting paid more, then maybe I'd be making a food better. And I think something, then Jordan said, comes the dreaded part when some people will then go home and check their food or get in a car and check their food and realize it's wrong. I'll actually check my food on the restaurant myself. Uh, excuse me, Jordan said. Yes, I ordered two. I bought two plain hamburgers. These got cheese on them, Jordan says. I remember telling you no condiments and nothing on them. That include pickles and that include cheese. All right, I'm sorry. We're going to have to rethink that order. Hey, Diva Talks, you goofed up again. Jeez. I'm sorry about that. And then Jordan said it gets worse. I goofed up again, huh? I screwed up again. Right. Diva Talk screwed up again. Well, if, Diva, if I was getting paid a little bit more, maybe I wouldn't be screwing up so much. Don't you think? Here, give the picture food. Hey, not only the attitude, you make more than I do, okay? If I was doing the cat fitter steering, I'm sure I'd be making more. Hey, cut the attitude. I'm making the same amount as you are. Yeah, here you go. Thank you, Jordan says. Th thank you for getting my order right the second time around. I should have had my order right the first time I came here. Jeez. What type of what type of restaurant you're running here when the liability is bad? I don't know. Why can't you be like Burger King or Wendy's or All American Food or Dairy Clean? At least Arby's. At least they get the orders right. I don't know why we can't be like them. So I know Jordan says that a lot of people go to a lot of fast food restaurants, and regardless if you're ordering from the drive-through window, or standing in line to order it, or or eating, or whatever the case might be. 
they do always tend to screw up on the orders a lot. Okay? And it might even be worse, Jordan says, if you went through the drive through window. Because then, Jordan says, you looked at your stuff, you knew it was wrong, and then instead of someone being in line who might have more patience, you got people right behind you that are more impatient. So, whatever, Jordan says. I just want to say that let me know if this other happened to you. Okay? I'm Jordan Long and I'll see you tomorrow.